Hi, I'm Tara from livingonadime.com. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my laundry room and how I organize my laundry room. My laundry room was a typical small laundry room when we moved in. It had the washer and dryer next to each other with a little shelf and it was pretty much non-functional. I mean, at the time we had four kids and it was a huge pain. So one of my first tasks when we moved into this house was to get the laundry room in order. And so I'm going to take you around my laundry room and show you some of the things that I've done. The, the main thing that we did that you can see is we spent, I think it was like $15 or so and got a kit that you put underneath here to stack our, my washer and dryer. This way, when I stack it, I have all this extra room that I can actually reach and get things and be able to use it. Um, but I stacked it and this really wasn't that hard. It took us, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or an hour. It really wasn't that long. The hardest part is getting enough guys to lift the dryer on top of the washer. And it's really made it um, easy because I don't have to bend over for all of the washing and drying because my back hurts. So. That really helped with that. So then when we got the washer and dryer stacked, I got this cabinet here for free and I got this cabinet down here for free. And then I also had a neighbor who had this set of drawers in the trash for free. So I got all of my cabinets for free and then I made my own countertop for free also. Um, so I'm going to start up here first on top of my washer and dryer I keep my laundry hamper and I keep it up there because I don't really have room to put it anywhere else so when I go to hang the clothes on the clothesline I can just reach up and grab it and it's right there and I do keep my clothes pins in there in a basket then in here I store all my extra so my iron and then I have extra amounts of homemade laundry soap because I had several soap fails. I make homemade soap and I had several fails and you can turn it into homemade laundry detergent. So that's what I did. So I've got three or four bottles of this in here. Then I keep my borax and my washing soda and toothbrush if I need to scrub a stain. Then up here I have my stain removers and we have our lint brushes for the cats and the dog brushes. And then up here I have extra dish towels that I'm planning on crocheting. Then I have the parts for my washer, all the extra parts. So if we go to move it or the manual, that kind of thing, all that's up there. Then also in here, I put the socket that we need to clean the filter for the washer. We, every time we would go clean the filter, which we have to do every six months to a year, we would fit around trying to get the socket. Finally, I thought, why don't I just put a post-it note with the actual socket size that we need and just leave it there so we can just look um, and then also I put this tacky um, sticky stuff and this is the stuff that you use to hang posters with and I put it on these doors because every time the dryer and washer would go it would rattle the doors and it drove me crazy so now the doors stay shut but that was a really cheap inexpensive fix so that's what I have up here in this cabinet um, I could put a bar up here if I wanted to, but most of the kids take their clothes straight down as soon as I'm done uh, washing and drying them. And so, um, you know, I don't really need a bar in here. Um, so then down here on my cabinet, I have back here my lost sock storage. I have it in a clear container. So when anybody's looking for socks, they can just see right away where theirs is and pick it out. Then I have these old mason jars here, and these are jars from my great-grandmother that she used to use to can. Like this one's from the 20s, from when she was canning in the 20s, and this one's hers from the 60s. Um, so I just have those for decoration, but I also use them to put all the coins and the extra clothespins and that kind of thing in there when I'm not using them. Then I have a bas basket with just a bunch of miscellaneous things like the laundry bag, and this here magnetic strip I'm going to I need to get it put up but I just haven't got it done so this is one of those things where I'm 
just got it sitting there out of the way so it's it's not in the way then here I have my storage for my bags um, I made this one out of I decoupaged an old coffee can with flowers I'm a huge flower person so I love flowers so I just decoupaged that to go with um, my laundry room and then this other one is just a candy container that I put extra bags in also then um, over here I have my laundry detergent I have two different laundry detergents because I have my son who has eczema really bad so this is his special no scent no fragrance no fragrance no dye laundry soap and then this is our homemade laundry soap that I use for everything else that's why I have two things then down here in this basket I have all my rags here I have two things of rags because we just use a ton of rags and so I just store them here if I need them for cleaning up or whatever and then down here I have my potatoes which it looks like I need to go through and clean them out but I store my potatoes in there to because they can't be in a closed in spot so I don't keep them in my pantry then in here in this long skinny one I keep my clothes racks so if I need to hang clothes in the house during the winter or something I can put them on those clothes racks and then under here we have the dog food and the dog bowls dog water and everything like that now this table I made myself and what I did was I just put a bar underneath the side over on the wall and then it's sitting on this cabinet here and then I just cut a board and I put some checkered tablecloth over the top I just stapled it and I put the checkered tablecloth over the top then um, let's see what do we got next okay so then I just keep my laundry hamper of clothes over here in the corner and then I have my trash can and then down here on the floor I have my great-grandmother's uh, used to weave rugs and so she wove this rug and um, that's hers and then I have some funny sayings and stuff so like one of them is laundry if it's not in the basket it's not getting washed drives me crazy when the kids say well where's my clothes and I'm like well you didn't put it in the laundry basket I didn't know it was dirty so my teenagers do their own laundry but the littler kids um, don't and then I have of course with God all things are possible because this is the laundry room and sometimes it seems impossible <laughs> so then over here behind the door I have all of my aprons that I've collected and I've got my um, ironing board holder and our fly swatters and all those things and um, I just store them all back here now when I went and painted this room the border in here I've been carrying around for about 10 or 15 years and I really really loved it and I haven't had a house where I've been able to use it in and I was bound and determined I was going to use it in this house for sure because I just loved it so I took and matched the wall color to the border by mixing paint that I already had so this was paint that I had already had and I put it all together and finally came up with the right shade and I got this room painted for free because I already had the paint and then I had the wallpaper border and it was free also so um, that's how I kind of decorated this room for because I'm thinking you're, you're spending so much time in here at least make it cute and at least make it something that you want to go see so if you have a laundry room fix it up and make it nice so um, anyway that's the tour of my laundry room it's not very complicated but it's actually very functional and makes it pretty easy to get in and do laundry now so I hope you enjoyed the tour of my laundry room and please subscribe and like and we will see you guys later